So in last week's video, I single-handed and reversed my 57-foot narrowboat down to the end of the Ashby Canal, right down where you can't go any further, and it was very, very weedy. And in this week's video, I'm going to try and make it all the way back to the Coventry Canal. Ahoy there! If you're new to the channel, I'm Heidi and I live and work aboard my canal boat home, the Rum Wench. This little beauty is my lovely rescue dog, Bonnie, who feels that she can take on the world. If you want to watch a middle-aged woman and a dog faffing about, then join us on our quest for adventure as we go in search of fun and giggles. Well, it's an absolutely gorgeous day today. What's been the best about being here is there's no one around at all. Bonnie's been off a lead on all our walks. You can walk all the way down to where the lake is over there. We've been walking around the fields. It's been fantastic and she's been fantastic. She met two golden retrievers today. She was on a lead and she was brilliant with them. Really good, so I'm dead proud of her. But it is time to move because I need to fill up my water tank and also I'm going to try and get a Tesco delivery to the wharf up here because I'm low on supplies. So that's the plan. It's going to be a lot easier going forwards than it was reversing this quarter of a mile. Oh, it was hard work that. I haven't actually been in my weed hatch because there's still so much weed in this canal. I thought I'll just do it when I get off here. It's only a quarter of a mile, but I can feel it. I've got so much around this tiller, it's very juddery. So I'm really struggling to get any speed up due to the amount of weed around my propeller, but there's no point me going and removing it because it'll just get caked in it again. So just beyond the stop gate is the main part of the Ashby Canal, but anyone can come and do this section, so please do, you just need to open the gate. So I'm here now at the water point, I'm just gonna go and check my weed hatch now. We've come through that bridge, so let's uh, see what's in here. So I've got a bit of a stiff one, so I'm going to get some WD-40 out and give this a bit of a spray whilst I'm here. You've got to keep it all nice and lubed up, otherwise with it being so stiff it could snap off. So I'm just quickly going to run in and change my top because there's no way I'm going in a filthy dirty hole wearing white. So just look at all this I'm pulling out here, it's no wonder my propeller was struggling to turn. Now it's really important when you replace your weed hatch that you do it very tightly. I give it a few knocks with my hammer because an unsecured weed hatch can cause your boat to sink and lots of sinkings happen this way because your propeller's moving so fast it's throwing up water really vigorously. So I've just been in the weed hatch, I've got all this weed out here. <laughs> Um, I did swap my t-shirt, I've learned from that, don't wear a white t-shirt when you go in the weed hatch. So I swapped over to an old t-shirt, but that's what I've got out, so I'm going to put that now just over there, out of the way. I've just done a massive Tesco delivery order to the wharf here and then I'll be fully stocked for my descent down the Ashby and what I really love when you do a return journey on the canal is the views are always completely different and I'll try and stop in different places as well but I'm heading slowly to my next event which is Huddlesford and then back up north for winter and I've got lots of exciting things going on over winter but I'll tell you about that nearer the time. So with all my groceries on board, it was time to crack on. And we're off. Wow, the Ashby. I have absolutely adored this canal. I think now it's one of my favorites. And not only is it very beautiful, but the people, especially here at the Ashby Canal Society, they are so lovely. I've just really enjoyed my time here. So it's 
just started spitting and Bonnie hates the rain. Whenever we're out on a walk and it's raining, she's just pulling back for the boat all the time. She walks around puddles, she can't stand it. But she's here and she's quite happy. It's only light spitting at the moment. But the minute she starts nudging me or coming up to me or starts whinging, then I'll have to put her inside. Hi, Bonnie. We've been watching you around the telly. You having fun? Yeah, loving it, loving it. We were here because we saw your last video. Oh, so I've just been talking to those lovely people then off the boat, the Tillerman. Oh, gorgeous people. This is what I love best about the boating because I haven't spoken to a soul today and I was just having a lovely little conversation there and it just makes me day, it makes me day. They're asking after you, weren't they, Bonnie? Yeah. Oh, lovely people. Look at that gloomy sky. <laughs> Yeah, the weather just doesn't know what it's doing today. One minute it's drizzling, the next minute it's a bit sunny. Is it one of you singing that keeps making it rain? Just a quick shout out to Renato Sagalo McAdams, I hope that's how you say it, for becoming a supporter of the channel via Patreon. Thank you. So it's just started properly raining now. So I've put little Bonnie in the boatman's cabin. So she's going to be nice and dry. But I'm wetter than a mermaid's hoof. Ah. Oh. Hopefully it'll stop shortly. It's been on and off all day, but this is the heaviest it's been. Hello, baby. Sorry, I lost you there for a few hours. It started chucking it down. I was absolutely drenched. I did try to moor up a few times and I just couldn't get me back end in. Yeah, I've got such a deep draft and I was really struggling because this canal is quite shallow, but I managed to get myself moored here where I am now. I managed to cobble myself together some roasted vegetables and some halloumi for my tea. Yeah, but I'm just knackered. But the weather's better for tomorrow. So hopefully then I'm going to try and finish this canal. And I'm also going to show you my controls. Lots of people have asked about how the controls work on my boat. So hopefully tomorrow I can show you those. Yeah, anyway, I'm off now and I'll see you in the morning. So the weather's looking a little bit brighter today. So hopefully we're not going to get as moist. And we're off. It's been quite a noisy location here because you've got this road above me. But it was somewhere to moor up. Yesterday when it was raining and then it was dry and it was dry, then it was wet. And it was just somewhere to moor that could get my bum in. I'd tried so many times to moor up, further up, and I just couldn't get me deep drafted bum in. So that there was a welcomed location. There's also a little pub opposite. We're off now. I'm trying to meet up with my friend, Nikki and she's going to be coming along the Coventry whilst I'm going down the Ashby and then we'll meet to hopefully not bash into each other. That has to be the most gorgeous quirky little boat ever. How gorgeous is that? Teeny tiny. So I'm just coming through the bridge hole here and there's another boat and as I said before the Ashby Canal is quite shallow at the sides so you need to be able to move round each other without grounding. The thing is it's a bit difficult with my boat how to do the controls and stop it. I'll show you a little bit about that in a minute when I've got past this faffing about. Always on a bloody bridge, Joel, isn't it? Yeah. That's woke me up. <laughs> oh, have a fabulous time. It's brilliant up there. Oh. Anyway, I just need a brew. I need a brew to calm me down. Not a rum, although I could have a rum because I've got no locks. But I'm not going out here with me, so I'm just going to have a brew. Oh, Bond, no, 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 no. You're not having coffee. I'm good for you. Oh. 
So basically, my controls. Now most boats have what's called a Morse control. So it's like a little lever and they can push it forwards and reverse. And if someone's coming and they're in forwards, they can quickly throw it into reverse because it's a hydraulic gearbox. Now mine's mechanical, <laughs> so it's very different. So I've got my, what I call my fister, which is my gears. I go forwards, neutral, reverse. And then I've got my revs. Very layman terms this. So I have to do this for my revs. So for example, for me to have to go forwards in my boat, I just put it into forwards gear, so I have to go right under and give it a right good push. And it still doesn't do anything until I give it some revs. So I do that, and then suddenly in situations like that, where there's a boat coming through a bridge, for me to go into reverse, the first thing I need to do once I'm popping along is turn my revs down, go and get me fister, come into neutral, wait a second because it won't go from forwards to reverse, then come into reverse and then it still won't do anything until I turn my revs back up. Oh, and by that time I've hit the bridge. So that's why I tend to, when I'm coming to a blind bend or to a bridge, I just go straight into slow or tick over and then it's easier for me then to sort myself out. But if a boat is coming full pelt, you know, that, <laughs> It's very hard for me to respond because of me controls. I need three arms because I'm trying to do that and steer and drink me brew. So it was really lucky that that boat was also going slow so we could manoeuvre around each other fine and none of us got grounded. Oh, the people on that um, higher boat then that were handled the boat absolutely fantastic coming from that bridge <laughs> um, on a blind bend are my subscribers. <laughs> That's fantastic. How lovely. So I did compliment them on how well they handled that then. Oh, it's very shallow this canal, it really is. And if you do sort of tend to get to the side and get grounded a bit, you've got no steering then. It's only my back end that gets grounded. But you know what? I've absolutely loved it here on the Ashby. It's, oh, you have to come and do the Ashby. It's just so beautiful. If you want peace and quiet and not many boats and loads of lovely walks and lots of history, then you've got to come and do it. You can rush it and do it in a few days, but I liked it. I've liked spending the last three, four weeks on it. It's been beautiful. Quite a few people have asked me about my tattoo on my arm and it's, it's a bloody mess. It's uh, one of those things that you wish you hadn't done. Well, part of me does and part of me doesn't. How I got it was I was backpacking in Thailand on my own. I went on my own and I was island hopping and all my mates had tattoos and I thought they were all cool and I didn't have one. So whilst I was there and I'd had a few drinks and, and the tattoos were really cheap, so I thought, oh, I'll have a tattoo. And what I thought was I'd have a gecko because in all my experience of traveling around Asia and Cambodia, the, I was told that the gecko was a symbol of good luck, good travel. And I love geckos. When you're in your little hut on a beach and you hear it going gecko at night, I love that. So I thought, oh, I'm gonna have a gecko. Good luck, good travel. So I went to this little place on the beach and uh, asked him what to do and he did me a gecko and, and it was really nice and then I said can you put some music notes just scattered around its head so he said yeah yeah no problem now bearing in mind there's a language barrier this is a Thai tattooist and I'm British don't know much Thai anyway he started off and I'm chatting away to the guy next to me he's having a full arm piece done a sleeve anyway I thought it's take a long time this and I look back my arms aching it's hurting it's sore and he started to put the gecko in a music stave which is like all the lines which then made the gecko look like it was in a cage and it, and it was just it was just awful 
and then I just said can you just colour it in have a rainbow where the staves were so it ended up being now this absolute messy mess but part of me looks at it and thinks oh look that looks a bugger and the other part of me looks at it and think that was fond memories of travelling on my own across Asia yeah so have you got any tattoos where are they what are they of and do you regret them yeah let me know in the comments So as you can see here, there's a boat coming through the bridge hole. So I move to the side, but my back end gets stuck. And as I'm reversing to trying to get off, my front just goes where it wants. This is where I need a bow thruster. Oh my goodness, I just shit myself. <laughs> Thank goodness that they, they handled their boat excellently because I moved over to let them through the bridge and at my back end grounded. And when your back end grounds, your front does, does what it wants and my front went straight into their cruising path. Oh, my heart was in my mouth. <laughs> but they were so lovely about it and we sorted it and oh my goodness. But if they'd have been going fast, Oh, they would have smacked hell out of my boat and because of his brilliant handling skills, it was fantastic. <laughs> Woo, I need a rum after that, honestly. I'm going to be mowing up very shortly. Oh, the adrenaline. Can't explain. It's racing. I've got butterflies. So I've just mowed myself up here. This is just after bridge three. So there's only two more bridges and I'll be back on the Coventry. But it's a nice, quiet location. I'm able to get all the way in. My bum isn't sticking out. Or well, my boat bum anyway. And then I can wait here now for Nicky. So hopefully when Nicky gets to Hawkesbury Junction and starts coming along the Coventry, I can leave the Ashby and we can meet. So that's the plan. Oh, it lovely. The weather here today has been absolutely awful. It's cold outside. It's been raining on and off most of the day. Bonnie hated her walk this morning. She hates getting wet feet and she just keeps stopping. She doesn't want to go any further. <laughs> but anyway, I've just had a message from Nikki and she's just passed the junction here. I think it's called Marston Junction where the Ashby Canal meets the Coventry. So I'm going to start the old girl up now and go and meet her.
So it is quite cold today and I've got nipples like bullets. So just to warm myself up, I thought I'd have a tiny little tot of rum. Yeah, so cheers. Woohoo! Mm. Just wetting the lips to warm me up, really. Yeah, it's only a tiny little shot. But it's just, it's nice, you can feel it go down, can't you? Yeah, it just warms you up from the insides. Woohoo! So that is the last bridge on the Ashby, bridge one, or the first bridge on the Ashby. And you know what? I've so loved this canal, I really have. And now I can complete it on my map, which I'll do later. I got one of those maps from Minimalist, they're brilliant, you colour in all the canals you've been on. So I'm quite excited to get colouring that in. Yeah, and I've loved it. But I've got new adventures ahead. Yeah, I'm gonna be meeting up Nikki. We're gonna be trading at the festival. And then I've got lots of nice things planned for winter. Yeah, so no looking back, always looking forward, but I've made some amazing memories on this canal. So I've just spotted Nikki's boat and it looks like she's got a big obstruction at her rear. I was going to go in front of Nikki, but there's not much space, so I'm going to reverse and just slip in behind. Hey there, Bonnie. Is that a sunken boat? So I've just moored up here, right up Nikki's rear. Well, in between us, actually, there's a sunken boat. Yeah, so I've moored up here. So I'm going to finish this rum off and then are we going to have a drink and catch up? More shenanigans. But we're here now, back together to do some cruising. And uh, tomorrow, I think we're going to head to Atherston. Yeah, so I'll see you later. So I'm just back from Nikki's now and we've had a really good catch up. Anyway, it's time to fill in my map that I got from Minimalist. These are fantastic. You can colour in all the places that you've been and I need to fill in now the Ashby Canal. So there's the Ashby Canal. So what colour shall I do it? I think I'll do it in purple. So I've still got all this to do and all this down here but I'm not in any rush because I just love the north. So I'm going to pour myself now a rum, we're going to have a Dead Man's Fingers Spice Rum and whilst I am pouring this rum I just want to say a massive thank you to all those that bought me a coffee this week, thank you so much. This week's Pirate Crew, your name should be showing up here, let's just cover those nipples, there we go. So that's it, that's the Ashby de la Zouch Canal fully done up and down. Yeah, so just thanks so much for watching everybody. I'm going to leave the video here. I'm not going to take you in the rear entrance today because this video is quite long enough. So thank you so much for watching to the end. But before I go, just a massive cheers to you all. Cheers everyone. Mm. I'm not forgetting my lovely gorgeous patrons. Take care, stay safe, and I'll see you next week.